Hey guys, so a bit of a quicker video today, especially because it's rainy out. I will be taking a look at my Apple Shrine, I mean Apple Collection. Also subscribe because I'm unboxing a couple of old iPhones and old MacBook coming up. I'm also planning on doing a video on all of my like random phones and devices that I have. So not all of these devices boxes are mine, but I'll give you the story behind it. This is a Magic Mouse 2 from my MacBook. I have a video unboxing it. I'll link that in the description. Um, I don't use it very often. I don't really have any complaints with it. And no, I don't care about the charging port being on the bottom. Then I have two AirPods. These are actually just wired food focus. Here, I'll use macro mode on my phone, but they're just wired Apple AirPods that I just cut the cable of and put them up here for decoration. So I'll talk about the Pro Max box first. This is my sister's iPhone 14 Pro Max. I asked her if I could have her box for my collection. She said yes. Then we have two iPhone 14s. These, I think they're both 128 gigabytes. They're whatever the lowest storage is. Um, I got them from work. I think one's blue, one's purple. As well as my sister's 14 Pro Max is purple. When people trade in phones to like Verizon and AT&T, um, they tell us to throw away all the boxes and just send their devices. So if it's an iPhone box, I keep it. Then moving down, we have my Apple Watch Series 8 box. I also have an unboxing video of this um, that will be linked in the description. Then below that, I have an, my sister's Apple Watch Series 6 box. And then below that, I have an Apple Watch Series 4 box, which is another one, another trade-in that I got from work. Moving down, we have... An Apple TV 4K second generation, 64 gigabyte. This box actually came when I bought my Apple TV HD. No, it was actually an Apple TV second generation. When I bought it, it came with this box because the listing was confusing and they made it seem like there were both of those, this Apple TV and that Apple TV, but there wasn't. So I got basically a full refund <laughs> and they just told me to keep it. Then we have two MagSafe charging pucks. One's mine, one's my sister's. And moving down, we have an iPhone 11 Pro Max in black, an iPhone 11 Pro Max in green, and then an iPhone 10R, and I think that's black. Um, these were, again, all from work. Then moving down again, we have a gold iPhone 7 Plus 256 gigabyte box. This is from my first phone. Then a jet black 256 gigabyte 7 Plus. That was my sister's. And then my iPhone, silver 512 gigabyte iPhone 13 Pro Max. And what I like when it's pushed back as far as it's supposed to be, you can see Pro MacBook Pro, the text from my actual computer, because the boxes just happened to line up perfectly because these two came with power bricks and these two didn't. And then up there, all of those didn't. Then we have my M1 MacBook Pro, uh, 60, silver 13 inch, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I've had this computer since 2021, really close to a year. I think late August, so late this month, maybe September. Um, it will be two years since I've had this computer. Um, but I've not had really any problems with it. It's still super fast. It works really well for editing. Then to the right, we have my tower of Lightning 3.5 millimeter headphone adapters. I like using wired headphones but the adapters keep breaking. I have another one here that I bought and meant to return, but I ran out of the time period, so. Then we have an Apple TV third gen remote. This one is basically the same as the second gen remote. The only difference is that this one has USB-C instead of lightning. We bought this for our Apple TV HD. So my parents didn't like the first gen Siri remote here, so they wanted an updated one. The same time we got that, we put that on another TV, we got this. An Apple TV third generation, so it has the USB-C remote built in, and it is the 128 gigabyte Ethernet version. Moving back over, we have my white HomePod Mini. So I bought this from Shop Goodwill, the same place I bought that from. Um, I like it, it works really well as a speaker. The sound quality is great for how small it is, and I got a really good deal on it. Then we have my Apple Pencil second generation box. Nothing really much to say. Again, it works well. Um, I dropped it back in March and it landed directly tipped down on a hardwood floor and the tip got destroyed. Well, it got dented, it still kind of worked. I wanted to get a new tip so it wouldn't mess up the screen. So I bought a four pack of tips, which is not in the box collection, which I'll talk about in a little bit. As well as I have another Apple Pencil second generation that I got from work. It was in a like pencil holder with a bunch of actual like pens and pencils. Um, 
because it was to someone's shipment that they forgot to include it in, so they just gave the person a refund for that. And then moving down, we have Steve Jobs glasses that are, again, very dusty. These were from 2018. Um, I went as Steve Jobs. <laughs> and then below that, we have my iPad Air box. This is the fifth generation, so it has the M1 in it. It is a 256 gigabyte Wi-Fi Starlight. And then below that, we have an Apple Watch and an iPhone 4S for Dummies book. I got a few years ago at my library because it was, they were for sale, 50 cents each, so a dollar for both of them, and I figured, why not? And then below that, we have a Power Mac G4. So this, one of my neighbors was throwing out, so I got it, took it home, cleaned it up, found out it didn't work, because so when you would plug it in and push the power button, it would make the noise, but nothing would show up. So what I did was I opened it up, which is super easy to do on these, and then I hollowed it out. I took out all of the electronics, and it was just basically a computer case. Um, that was really fun to do. I also, and then in here, I also have all of my Apple Store bags. Some of them actually have more, I found out. Pretty much the only thing I use this for is Valentine's. Also in there is this blue iPod Touch 6th generation I printed out, um, in color, laminated, and cut it out. I had, my sister had a blue one, and I had a gold one, um, and I would make her use it and play with it and pretend that we had phones. Since it's old and I opened it a lot when I was working on it, I would always open it and close it. The hinge is kind of worn out, so I need to get that fixed, but I can't like slam on it really hard because this whole thing would also collapse. And then the last item in the collection is this Apple pin. I just put it through the grabber, but it's a magnetic pin that you would wear at the Apple store because they had like coding classes or like learning to draw with the Apple Pencil classes that I attended years ago with my homeschool group um, back when my only Apple product was my iPhone 7 Plus. Good time, so I just put this on here because it fits perfectly. So that's all of the items in my box collection. Now I have a few more that I actually can't find, so let's go over those real quick. I have a Lightning Apple EarPods box. I don't know where that is. That is with my USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter that I have for my iPad that I'm actually probably going to buy another one of at some point. What I like is that on Amazon it has overnight shipping if you get it, but it has to be over $25 and this is only like $7. So I'm going to wait to buy it until I need to get something <laughs> that isn't over $25, but I want overnight shipping. Does that make sense? I also have a, I also have my Apple Watch um, band box because they gave me the Apple Watch box and the band separately for some reason, in a separate box, and I don't know where that box went. As well as, yeah, um, an AirTag pack of four box. I don't know where that is either. So, yeah, can you tell the company I like a lot? And then guys, subscribe because I have a video coming on an iPhone 3G, an iPhone 3GS, and a 2009 MacBook. And the more I think about it, the more fun it seems. I'm going to go through all of my old devices and show you. Also, I forgot to say this, um, iPhone... 13 Pro Max, MacBook Pro, Apple Pencil, and iPad. Unboxings will all be linked in the description. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!